So technically, that's why there is no Geneva Convention in Azeroth. What? What do you mean you can't see half of my face? What are you talking about? Oh, great. Oh! Hey! How you doing, guys? Welcome to Azeroth. My name is Hermes, and I'm here to welcome you to this lovely, lovely beach. Look at this, look at this. All these palm trees, the sun, the sand, the tro... Well, no place is perfect. Anyway, I brought you here to talk about consumables, as I promised last time. Specifically, I want to talk to you about everything that you specifically consume. So, world buffs, not a thing. Just the food and the drinks that we eat, right? So, what do these consumables include? I'll sit down in this... Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Alright, so, hopefully no one will kill me while I'm here. So, what do these consumables include? These are, one, food, mana sources, elixirs and potions from alchemy, and other miscellaneous consumables that we're, we eat. Uh, I'll start with the simple ones with the food, because, well, we're priests. So specifically, the food that we eat needs to have either intellect or spirit, and likely stamina, right? Uh, from a food perspective, right, you will often find yourself eating, for example, these. Like, there are multiple types, there are multiple, like, layers, let's just say, of food. There are multiple types of food, and there are, like, m multiple levels of food, like, for example, some give a bit some this one works for, for example jungle stew gives eight stamina and spirit some higher up they give better stats right specifically around 60 uh, we have two specific kinds of food these are I'll actually put this away right these are monster omelette and tender wolf steak are actually fairly popular because of the, because ma mainly it's not very difficult to get them, right? They both give 12 stamina and spirit, and if you sit down and eat for 12, for 10 seconds at least, you have to actually keep keep sitting and keep eating. After a bit, you get a food buff that lasts, unfortunately, for only 15 minutes, and you, you get extra stamina and spirit. These are pretty decent, uh, decent food buffs, right? As you can see, we we got additional like total stam spirit. Our st spirit is two fifty eight. If I add divine spirit, additional forty, I get two ninety eight, which means stamina stamina and both stamina and spirit from food buffs stack with our divine spirit. So this is extra spirit. However, as you get higher up in levels, right? Uh, as you get like closer, closer to 60, to raiding, etc., etc., you'll notice that hey, you know what? This 12 spirit doesn't really much because we finally, at some point, we get Nightfin soup. In my opinion, this is the single best uh, food a priest can eat, uh, a healer priest can eat, right? It gives eight mana every five seconds. Restores eight mana every five seconds. It's a straight up mana restoration spell during uh, while casting, while outside casting. And what's also useful is not only do you not need to sit for ten seconds like these other foes to get the buff, you can get it while running. See, I clicked on it while running. Immediate reaction. The downside is this buff lasts for ten minutes, and it's really annoying. Uh, I wish it lasted longer. However, the way you can get this buff is in cooking. See, nightfin soup. Right, you use it by cooking a fish called raw nightfin snapper. Uh, this particular, uh, this particular fish you can find in high-level areas. Ah. Uh, in high level areas on specifically in lakes uh, for example uh, like I used to go to Ajara 
because in a jar like right here in a jar like this is where you come down uh, as alliance i believe horde is i'm not going to pretend i have no idea where horde's uh, area is maybe this but right here there's a quiet lake nobody really goes there you can sit there and fish uh or you could also if you're alliance this this area may be the easiest easiest for you to access you can fly to uh, western plague lands and in the area around scholomans you can fish fish for the night fin here it's also a nice spot but my personal favorite even though it's pretty far away like from alliance areas from from alliance i am based in iron forge is moonglade because of the view <laughs> that's it like either this small lake or the giant lake you can just stand wherever you want and fish the view is beautiful it's like lots like it's all covered in trees like there are like some deer walking around it's very peaceful very quiet i would i would highly recommend uh fishing in moonglade if you can manage to do that and extra bonus they're successful for bo both horde and alliance so go for it as for when you can find it uh nightfin has a has this annoying trait that it can only be fished during particular times of day specifically like if you look at realm time right nightfin becomes fishable i.e you have a chance to find it after 6 p.m server time which is like 18 uh realm time like 18 i can't i can't move them out so 18 double o and in that during that time until midnight server time you have a chance to fish it and you have an equal chance to fish another much less impressive fish sun scale salmon which just gives uh, health regeneration this is pretty decent i guess for like warriors while leveling i'm making a guess but for us it's useless we're because we're healers right but after midnight after zero zero realm time the, the your chance of fishing sunscale salmon goes to zero and all of its probability of being caught goes to night fin so you could just f fish up night fish night fin in the, at night it's not the only fish you catch of course you get plenty of uh, red gill you get plenty of i'm not gonna i'm not gonna waste time searching for them right you get plenty of other fish however at 300 fishing 300 fishing no uh, just get a big iron fishing pole any type of fishing pole doesn't really matter right you can go to you can go to these areas and just fish normally and you do not need bait so don't waste your don't waste time uh, getting bait don't waste your money buying bait if it's you know uh, some of the good ones like the aquadynamic fish attractor which i have in my bank you don't need those right just normally fish them fish the uh, fish it up and you'll find it and you can get quite a bit of it actually like i can get uh maybe like four stacks i think i think i got four stacks or something in a span of two hours it's really not much considering that we don't really use a lot of those it's like one every 10 minutes so for a two hour raid you just need 12 not even a stack right so it's uh, it's you can perfectly like spend one or two days a week just farming this and not only do you get a pretty decent supply of mana food but also you can sell these and they sell pre pretty well on the market right so personally this this is my personal recommendation for food there is also this one a run tum tuber surprise which gives uh, plus 10 intellect in instead of uh, mana regen right but uh, and like you you can get this from Dire Mall East uh, in Dire Mall East which is located in Feralas like in Dire Mall in Eastern Dire Mall on the grounds themselves like in green areas right Dire Mall, Dire Mall, Dire Mall 
right? For example, in east or west, I think in other demos as well. On the ground, you find small, like wrapped pe pieces of um, like bark or stuff like that, you know, saplings. By gathering them, some of them have a chance to give you these tubers. Give you these tubers. And I believe, uh, ah, yeah. And you can get the the recipe itself from one of the bosses, like Pusilin, the tiny annoying uh, imp that uh, dares you to ch to chase him in the beginning of Darmal East, right? That's where you get it. Uh, honest, yeah. There we go, Pusilin. Uh, to me, honestly, I would I would rather go f go with Nightfin. It's recommended that the best food for priest is Nightfin. However. You can also have technical. You we also technically benefit from intellect, so I'm giving you the option of having this food available to yourself as well. I would 100% rec recommend uh, Nightfin, though. However, all right, that's food. Now, what about mana sources? Well, mana-wise, we have mana potions basically like the normal mana potions right we have greater mana potions we have superior ones we have major ones there are like previous like smaller man mm, smaller potions but at level 60 these three are the only ones of consequence right of course major mana potions are amazing if you can find anything any way of getting as many of these as you can definitely go for them they're awesome right Superior mana potions, uh, you can make if you're an alchemist. Uh, I'm personally an alchemist, as you may have noticed, right? So you can just make a bunch of them. Uh, if anyone really cares, uh, where is it? Right, you need sungrass and blindweed to get to make them. Uh, blindweed, it, you can very amazingly farm in Swamp of Sorrows. It's the area just above Blasted Lands. It's where the uh, Sunken Temple is located, right? Blindweed spawns right on the edges near the water on all of these islands. Like you can run around and get a bunch easily. As for the other el as for the other ingredient, sun grass, right? Uh, you find it on grassy areas. Uh, for example, there's a bunch in Feralas out here. Uh, some in Felwood, like a bit, but uh, last 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 time I checked, the east the best area to farm sun grass is the hinterlands. It's right here. Uh, I don't know if you've been to hinterlands. Mm, the, it's this is where you get the egg for uh, uh, Zulfarak. Uh, for 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 sunken temple and the mallet for Zulfarak, it's located just east of Altrek Mountains. Like you, you follow the river like this, or no, I believe you go from you go you go up from Hillsbred. I think like right here. So, and you can farm a bunch of sun grass here. But my personal favorite is actually this one like n not compared to major mana potion this is godlike no i mean compared to a superior one it's greater mana potion because you can get tons of this in um stratholm undead stratholm are one of the dungeons that you as a priest will be visiting very frequently right stratholm uh, in the undead quarter, I believe, I believe they're not in the living quarter. I may be mistaken, but in the undead quarter, on the ground you'll sometimes find boxes, right? Uh, supply boxes, supply crates. Most of them are traps, trapped. But if you're a dwarf, <coughs> best guild, best race ever. If you're a dwarf, you have racial uh, find tre treasure ability. You click this and in and on the map, it shows you, normally it shows you chests, right? But it also shows you the non-trapped crates in Stratholm. So, put this on. If you're a dwarf, you better be a dwarf. Put this on. And on the map, when you see a yellow dot, run there, take that box. It's yours. And in those boxes, 
every single one of them contains at least one of these potions and I mean most of them are like three or five potions each it's a lot of potions you can get from there so at the very least you will have these mana potions on you at all times right now I have quite a bit quite a bit and this isn't all of it I ha I still have more in the bank right so awesome but in addition to these mana potions we have runes but these runes require sacrificing your life part of your life specifically there are demonic runes which drop from high-level demons uh, a very good place to farm these is considered fellwood right uh, fellwood which is right to the north of Ashenvale there's Ashenvale and as you go up here there's fellwood in Felwood, in Jade and Nar, I believe also here in Jade for a run, right? There are demons, there are these satires. You know, the big hairy hoarding guys, right? As you kill them, you get a chance to get a demonic rune. Uh, in addition to these, if, you f if you're lucky enough to find yourself some uh, willing group, uh, group members, party members, you can take them to Western Plaguelands, specifically to this area right here. Because in there, there is the dungeon called Scholomance. You'll also be visiting this a bit. I, uh, I don't remember why there are some good good items here, but Scholomance is a very good... Uh, somewhere you'll go for, uh, quite frequently. And the mobs here have a chance to drop a Dark Rune. These are these are different these are different runes. It's a dark rune, and you can get quite a bunch of them, especially because healers usually have a uh, bonus, bas basically not a bonus but a preference, right? Uh, healers usually get first roll on these. You can like normally need on them as usual, so don't. If someone's taking them away from you, that's the wrong thing to do. But also, as you may have noticed, dark runes are not soul bound. You can buy them on the auction house. Uh, they're usually a bit expensive, honestly. We priests don't have a lot in terms of uh, gold making. Uh, yeah, I know about the Dharma East. I'm not going to talk about it now. But the best thing is just just go go to Skullman's, heal, get a bunch of these. It'll be fun. Why do we need runes? This way. Let me just waste some, spend some mana right click it cost me some health but it restored mana right and the potions did not get a cooldown this may basically means that you have two po two mana potions effectively like uh, ongoing then after a while you can drink this one then after a while then after a while these come back and you can drink them as well uh, normally you should go for potions first because they're a bit easier to, to obtain than the runes and once you've drunk, you've drunk your potions and you're still in trouble, you're still running a low on mana, grab the runes. Now, some of you may have noticed this timer as well. This guy is Night Dragon's Breath. It restores a measly, for like 400 to 450 mana in health. That's not much, but it's still it's still better than nothing. Uh, these guys, these guys, you can get in Felwood as well. Specifically in Felwood. What? Oh, thank God, no one's killing me yet. Okay. Uh, in Felwood, all the way down here in the beginning in the Emerald Sanctuary, right? Uh, one of these quests is given by this wonderful lady down here. Like, first of all, you need to do a bunch of these quests to get this ac get access to this one. But, uh, while gathering herbs in the area, or while killing animals in the area, you have a chance of getting uh, some, dar some specific shards, some shards specific to this area. If you're given six hunting shards, or four uh, gathering ikers, I think they're called they're ikers, uh, this woman will give you two to four, uh, two salves each. It's a specific 
usable item that you need to gather. Then you take these salves, and I know, wait for it, wait for it. Then you take these salves, and you find a corrupted plant inside Fellwood. Now, there are four types of these plants. One of these is Night Dragon. It's called that way. You walk up to it, you use the, use the salves, you cleanse it, and at, well, after it's cleansed, you wait for it to get cleansed, you open it and uh, you open it as a container and you get these items from there. As you can see, these guys also restore mana and health and they share cooldown with dark rooms and they, they do not ex at, uh, affect the cooldown of mana potions. You can get these as well. Honestly, having spent time in Felwood actually farming these, uh, it's not worth it. Like, just uh, no, don't, don't, <laughs> you don't have to go for these, right? Uh, I would personally just stick with demonic runes, but uh, just stick with runes. But either way, you need to know that you have this option. This is exi this exists. You can get it, right? So that's mana. Now, in addition, after mana, right? Okay, I have mana, I have enough energy. What do I do next? There are other consumables that you can that you can drink, right? Uh, notably, we have alchemy, the entire profession of alchemy. All of this glorious, glorious stuff. Alchemy has a bunch of bunch of potions. Some of them are some are pretty useful, like oil of immolation. If if you have done the uh, the quest to get benediction, you you pre know you very well know what this does. Um, there are like water breathing potions, etc., etc. But something that you'd const you could constantly drink used to be, and I mean used to be right it's not anymore was this elixir of the sages it gives 18 intellect and 18 spirit for one whole hour like as a priest I fell in love with this potion immediately it looks great it looks awesome right 18 intellect spirit awesome but that was before I had my uh, awakening and my awakening happened like literally last week. I mean, seriously, my heart is broken, guys. What I did was, if you look at my intellect, 353 and spirit 246. Okay, uh, let's ignore the intellect for a second. Spirit, 246. With this, 264, right? I got my spirit. But my spirit buff takes it to 286. Remove Elixir of the Sages. My spirit did not drop. It does not stack with your spirit buff. Elixir of the Sages for us priests is just an intellect potion. Right? Uh, but it's actually fairly expensive to make. Like if you look at here, I can still make a bunch of these, but Elixir of the Sages needs one Dream Foil, which is fine, but two Plague Blooms. Plague Blooms are insanely expensive on our server right now. Like one of these, one of them is like two and a half gold on the auction house. It's insane, right? So this is actually a pretty expensive elixir. And in addition to this, okay, let's assume that fine, spirit is okay, but at least I get 18 intellect for an hour, right? It's something. Uh, we have a potion that gives you 25 intellect for one hour. This one's way cheaper to make, like Blindweed and Cutgar's Whisker. These are very cheap to find, right? So you can definitely get, you, can, you, can, you should absolutely get this instead. Ignore Elixir of the Sages completely. Just get Elixir of Greater Intellect. It will save you a heartbreak, trust me, I know. But uh, these spell, 
these intellect potions cannot be used in raids for a very simple reason you will have a mage and the mage intellect buff arcane intellect does not stack with this buff and even more so if you have if you've drunk this and a mage casts arcane intellect on on top of you the arcane intellect will cancel this buff completely so this will be gone so in dungeons like maybe if you don't have a mage in raids this is a waste of money but this actually this could actually be useful for you while leveling like yeah true you you need like level 37 to drink this and if you're not an alchemist it you won't really have access to it unless you buy it but still it's 25 extra intellect that's through uh, 375 mana I believe that could save you at some point so could would definitely could definitely be worth it worth grabbing now until until these guys showed up actually until these Zandalari showed up hello right until Zandalari showed up I did not have any any elixirs to bring to raids right because I only had sage and it was pointless however these guys showed up and by getting a reputation with them I mean like fairly low I believe it was friendly uh, no yeah revered sorry revered well after getting a revered reputation with these guys I got a I got access to this recipe the mage blood potion this baby right here this is your absolute 100 percent go-to potion uh go-to elixir for one hour it gives you 12 mana per five seconds regeneration oh i didn't drink it. it's actually a bit expensive but yeah i drank it anyway i drank it for you see i'm doing sacrifices for you anyway for one hour you get 12 mana per five seconds this is amazing because it regenerates your mana while you are casting right not just while resting so it improves your performance specifically in fights definitely go for this uh, farming it is of course not cheap they just like the sages require wandering foil and two plague blooms but in my humble opinion it is absolutely worth it so definitely get them for raids if you if you can absolutely go for them and yeah of course like no alchemy discussion would be complete without flasks of course flasks are these things yes I got them all that give you some effect for two hours and in and very different from these potions these elixirs flask effects actually persist through death ie if you die rest in peace you still maintain these buffs one of these is the flask of distilled wisdom which increases your maximum mana by two thousand for two hours this thing is awesome and it is also quite expensive <laughs> so yeah you might expect you might as you might expect right if you can for raids get them they're very useful but in my experience if you're actually pretty decent at efficient healing uh, I do not remember the last time when I went out of mana without while using my mana potions right if you're efficient at healing and you heal mana and you use mana potions frequently this may not be necessary for you however that if you go through mana quickly this will absolutely make a difference keep this in mind this, these things exist like there are others I guess like there I guess you could also benefit from the resistance one it gives 25 resistances to everything for two hours but uh, I don't know man you'll just heal through it so not necessary really now uh, that was more or less alchemy right there are of course protection potions right like greater fire protection potions that just straight up absorb fire damage or 
frost damage or nature damage right uh, th these are in lower levels as well as you may see here let me show you protection potions right you have greater fire protection here and you have just fire protection here like th these started like level 23 level 17 even right level 10 for holy protection these are useful uh, in raids these could actually save you from a wipe so tr definitely try to invest in them if you have a good if you have an alchemist or if you have a good farming character uh, definitely try to gather a bunch of these gather a bunch of these up uh, specifically to our current condition right right now the new the hottest raid right now until Naxxramas until Naxxramas is on Kiraj and in our Kiraj you will end up needing your greater nation your greater nature protection potions quite a bunch of them and also shadow protection potions for Cthune the final boss he deals a bunch of just shadow damage as well so you both of these would benefit you significantly. Uh, what I what I keep hearing about Naxxramas in Naxxramas frost protection potions will be more important. You actually need like resistances, etc. So keep these in mind as well. Now, in addition to these, we have other consumable uh, liquids. Let's just say two of these. are the cerebral cortex compound which increases intellect by 25 for an hour and the gizzard gum which increases your spirit by 25 for an hour you can get these in blasted lands blasted lands right here it's to the south of our swamp of sorrows right like at the beginning in the very beginning in the entrance like here you will find Blood Mage Lenore, as you can see, right? She gives out two quests, Spiritual Domination and Infallible Mind, like these two. They're repeatable, as you can see. As you get them, what you need to do is just kill a bunch of animals in this area, specifically hyenas, birds, and basilisks. And you get spe special items from them, like droppable items, which you will turn in. Those items you can actually buy on the auction house. So if you have money to spend, you might be, you might do that. However, the grind is a pain. It took me a while to get this. Like it took me at least an hour, I think. But I'm a holy priest. This is my best character. I don't have a DPS normally right now. So uh, if you have a DPS character, you might do it quickly. But to me, it was torture. And you can get these. Now these are unique, so you can't really stockpile them. And more importantly, and very unfortunately, if you drink one, yes, you get a bonus. But the other one gets a cooldown. You can only have one of these on you at a time. Sadly, that is a problem. Like as you actually, as you turn this in. Like the first time I turned this in, I actually got the buff and I got these items, right? However, I do n I do not have any information about whether or not you get these multiple repeatedly after you turn them in, right? If I turn it in for a second time, for a third time, will I get the buff? I don't know. And by I don't have enough information, I mean I was just too lazy to get to get that because I'm a bit lazy, a bit. All right. These may be worth it to you. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, Infallible Mind actually stacks with Intellect Buff. Which we could actually check. Yeah, let's do it right now. I want to be embarrassed live on camera. Let's go. We have 378 Intellect. This 25 should push us over 400. It did. So these stack, which is lovely. Right? I actually checked Spirit. This guy also stacks with our spirit buff. So these bo both of those items are net increases. If you if you actually have the time and energy, definitely invest in them. 
at, while choosing between like choosing which one I personally would go with 25 intellect yes priests benefit from spirit a lot but intellect gives you a bigger mon larger mana pool and a slightly more cr uh, crit rating for spells it's not really that much like I have 1.57 with it without it I have like 115 like ha less than half a percent one third of a percent it's not much but it still still adds up so I'd go with intellect absolutely but if you have too much intellect if you're too smart you might want to part with some of that intellect I have an information for you boom alcohol the solution to all of your problems <laughs> specifically Krieg stout beatdown which increases your spirit by 25 but decreases intelligence by 5 for 15 minutes and as you might see from the movement of the camera it also gets you drunk yeah you sacrifice 5 intellect for it but it's a net 20 increase to stats so plus plus uh, net plus 20 stats i think it's i think it's a good thing so i get i get a bunch of it where can you get it in dire mall again dire mall we're going back there those poor ogres dire mall in dire mall north specifically north dire mall north uh, it's the place where you get uh, where you go for the um, what's this called tribute buffs right right here actually on the map in the first room like as you as you enter dire mall north like you you go left you follow this road and you turn left here and enter this like arena before you turn left right here at the edge is a dancing ogre he's either dancing or sleeping right he sells this stuff before you actually can buy 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 these things you have to go and complete the dungeon you have to kill the king because you need to become the king and as you become the king he he becomes friendly and you can talk to him and buy all this stuff this is what he drops but yeah this is what he sells creaks out be beat down and uh tanks will probably know this he also sells something that gives you 10 stamina and i believe this stacks with this, the pre stamina buff as you see this is not exactly cheap he sells it for 15 silver each right and they only last for for 50 and they only last for 15 minutes so you may want to like invest quite a bit especially because we can't really consistently go to Darmal north like that uh, but yeah keep this in mind next time you go to Darmal north don't uh, teleport out once you finish dungeoning actually get the king buff come back all the way here and buy this stuff it's awesome i highly recommend it right now finally the buffs we can also get among the buffs we also get are oils no not that you put these on your weapons on these ones right I actually have a uh, one I'm using currently so I'll use that okay as you craft these these are crafted by enchanters in enchanting oils they can craft these two oils the brilliant mana oil and the brilliant wizard oil they both need like two large brilliant shards you get these from disenchanting and like purple lotus and like fire bloom both of these both of these plants are very easy to, to find it's the large brilliant shards that are the, the bulk of the cost and these give you five charges each as you can see like down there they're they have five charges and the mana oil if you apply it to your weapons right it gives you 12 mana per five seconds and plus 25 healing all that for 30 minutes right these since there are five charges they can last th for two and a half hours each right so you can just grab one take one to the raid and you're set uh 
paladins, our paladin friends, are more familiar with the brilliant wizard oil. Because here's the thing. Uh, it increases, it says it increases spell damage by 36. But that actually applies to healing as well, right? It actually gives you more healing than the than mana oil. But paladins love it for the second thing it gives. It gives 1% extra chance for spell crits. And paladins have this awesome, uh, awesome, awesome talent, I believe, that where they get where they get back the mana mana cost of the spell that actually they that crits. Right. Uh, yes, we do have in Holy Inspiration where we increase the target's armor by one quarter if we crit, right? But it has a significantly lower effect on us priests. And so for, specifically for, pre, for Paladins, this is the one you need to go for. But if you're a priest, you go for Brilliant Mana Oil. Like the 12 mana per 5 seconds is awesome. It's glorious and it stacks with mana regeneration, obviously, right? So get these. Use these on your staff, right? Now, we're almost done. And I'd like to discuss the reason we came to this particular area, right? It is because of these same guys, these same guys right here. They sell juices. Specifically, if you have a fairly, if you if you're revered with these guys, with the Zandalari tribe, if you're revered with these guys, you have the opportunity to buy one of. Well, you you have you can actually buy all three of these these potions. Sheen of Zanza uh, gives you just a chance to reflect spells on you for two hours. Meh. Swiftness of Zanza increases your running speed by 20% for two hours, which I think is awesome. You may want this. But also, Spirit of Zanza gives you 50 spirit and 50 stamina for two hours, and both of these stack with our spirit with our priest buffs. Both of them. I'm not kidding. Why do you need to get these? First of all, you, you get revered with the Zandalari tribe. With these guys. Why, how you get that? Go to Zulgorup. Just farm Zulgorup. Just go there on cooldown and uh, go for it. It's a 20-man 20 20 raid. Not really difficult. It's an awesome catch-up mechanic. They have a bunch of really cool stuff you can use, right? So go there. Get revered. In Zulgorup, in Zulgorup, you have a chance of finding these bijous, b i j o u s, right? You need to bring these bijous here to this island, to right there, that area over there, where you will destroy them. Yeah, I know it's an it's really annoying that you have they have to like actually go through hell to find these. These are pretty rare rare to drop. Well, they drop plenty, but you're one of 20 people, so the chance of getting them is pretty low. However, you can actually notice that neither of these is soulbound. Because you can buy them on the auction house. That's how I do it. I buy them on the auction house. On our server right now, they're, they're worth like 3 gold, I think, each. So it's pretty cheap. Uh, it's extremely cheap compared to what you're getting. Right? Even if you are a like, uh, lame can't farm can't farm anything worth a damn healer like me you will you'll make enough money to buy to buy these come here to this uh cozy place like this relaxing calming area these better not be dwarf skulls right look at this bijou and right click it and you'll dis destroy the bijou destroy it and destroyed and instead you get these honor tokens now do not click this <coughs> yeah uh these tokens you can also use them to increase your reputation with the zandalari i believe that you get like 25 points of reputation with them so if you're not exactly exalted if you're like if you're like farming exalted you can like just use these 
but you actually turn in one of these for one of those potions that I'm about to show you. You come to this guy right here. It is again like the main the main island, right? The main island near the tallest building. Right here, you go up and do not go upstairs all the way here. No, all to the left. This guy, Rin Washo the trader. Talk to him. And he sells things of Zandalar. Like you turn these in, you get uh, extra reputation, whatever. He can sell essence mangoes, which are basically food and uh, like mana and health restoration ones. Not quite bad, to be honest, because um, they these actually restore mo a bit more mana than uh, mage water. However, uh, honestly, not 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 worth five gold in my opinion. But with Sansa's potent potables, you can pick one of these. See, there's a horde running around there. He's gonna kill me. Nice like fifty-seven. I can take him. All right here. You can choose one of these three. Now, as you may see, these are unique, right? And you can only have the effect of one Zanza potion at a time. So you can't stockpile them and you can't like drink one swiftness and one spirit as much as I'd love to have 20% movement speed and <laughs> spirit of Zanza on me. However, they do not have a cooldown. You can take a spirit of Zanza it's in my bag. You can drink it. Glorious spirit of Zenza, I got it. And you can, we can actually check. I'll check later. You drunk it, right? For two for the next two hours, you have the buff. It's not in your inventory anymore, which means you can take another one. Boom. You have 50 stamina and 50 spirit for for the next four hours. All right. Given that you do not die, sadly these do not persist through death as much as I'd love them to. So, when you die, this get this disappears. Well, all world buffs disappear when you die, sadly. But let me show you what I mean. We just got 50 spirit and 50 stamina, right? Up to 26 spirit and 269 stamina. Stamina on myself, 269 stamina, 339 stamina. I got plus 70 stamina, j just like I'm supposed to. The buff uh, tooltip is actually off still. Come on, Blizzard. Right? And spirit, 296 spirit. Boom, 336 spirit. Both stamina and spirit stack with this thing. This is amazing. This is the best consumable I know. Right. No. Okay, there's the flask. But yeah, okay, this is an amazing consumable. Come on. Come on. Definitely get this. And in addition to actually getting this awesome buff, you get to spend time on a tropical island. It's awesome. It's amazing. Like actually while you're getting here. You could go to Duskwood, ride all the way to Stranglethorn Vale, like cross here and blah, 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 make it here. You could do that. But you could also fly to Westfall and listen, listen, I know, I know, Westfall is lame, but you could fly to Westfall ride all the way here to the edge and jump off like you could swim you swim for like 30 seconds or something for a minute and this is Westfall this is where we are now you can swim from Westfall here or if you're like me and you have a consistent supply of light feathers use boom levitation and you just run here from Westfall it's awesome it is quick it's amazing. Usually Alliance people gather on this side and Horde usually gathers on... Uh, let's see if I can actually show you. Uh, 
horde actually gathers on that side. Ah, here. Like horde usually gathers here. So we're more or less cleanly cleanly apart. Uh, horde normally gathers here because this is their base camp. This is where they have their flight paths, I believe. So they just come from here. So this side, horde side, that side is alliance side, right? And yes, mind vision is amazing. It's an awesome skill. But yeah, that is what I want to discuss uh, regarding our consumables. Uh, as you go along, you might find more con like other consumables, like for example, the Blessed Sunfruit Juice, which, which gives you just 10 spirit for 10 minutes and it restores mana. Uh, you get these if you have Revered with Argent Dawn. Argent Dawn are the paladins that are in charge of Eastern Plague Lands, like these guys, and also Western Plague Lands. Here, these guys, right? But you need Revered with, the, with them. And you can actually farm your reputation fairly easily. Like getting to Revered isn't that much of a problem. But buying these isn't very cheap, right? Uh, I believe to get one stack of these, you spend like two and a half gold or something. Uh, you can't really re you can't really rely on these as mana as sources of mana because it's actually pr pretty expensive. And ten spirits is really very poor compared to the 12 mana the 8 mana per second f from the night fin soup this actually gives you more mana per second and the two extra healing isn't worth it trust me it's not so i al i always keep these around as you as you know it's like in my in my supply bag back here i always keep these i keep keep a stack of these because if for some reason i run out of my morning dews morning dews if i don't have any mage water if i really quickly need mana I'll, I'll drink them but these are like my by far the last resort I do not drink them any otherwise right so do I have any anything else I want to talk about not really uh, that's the main consumables that I've I would like to talk to you about I wanted to talk to you about there are like other ones uh, like minor ones uh, you might actually if you want to go full maxed, you can technically get this elixir, which gives you 450 armor for an hour. You can get the Troll's Blood Potion, which gives you health regen per hour. Um, a guildy you don't need. Arcane elixirs, these do not give us bonus healing, so nah. In special, special elixirs, there's an elixir of fortitude, which gives you 120 health which stacks with, uh, with everything else. Technically, you can get that too. But these are just like tiny, tiny additions. Fr from alchemy, most of them, you mostly want your mana regeneration, mage blood. And if you're leveling, I would highly recommend greater intellect. Because, and plus, if you're, if you're an alchemist, if you're an alchemist, you can get this fairly easily for quite a long time. For like, you can get a, pretty big supply of these for a while so do not waste your time with elixir of the sages I know I'm as heartbroken as you are but do not waste time on this this is a heartbreak and farm as many of these as you can so that's about it me and my sprite daughter he's, he's adorable I got him from a quest I keep, I, keep, uh, I keep his egg in my pouch because he's a kid. Right. That's all I wanted to tell you guys about. So, without further ado, goodbye. And I'll see you in the next video where I'll come up with something interesting to show you. Bye-bye.